Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this Live at Nine. My name is Edine Cole. If this is your first time watching this and you don't know who I am, <laughs> um, I want to introduce myself and explain. This is a live Q&A or a live um, webinar that I do. I go live every Tuesday and Thursday um, from 9 to 10, in most cases depending on what's going on. And... Um, this is a live feed that I do just to educate and empower. So if this is your first time watching this, um, if you could, I want you to share this and I want you to chime in on all your social media platforms. So <clears throat> if you are watching this and this is your first time, this is very interactive. This is um, I'm going to need your participation and we're going to talk about <laughs> economic empowerment. So thank you guys so much for chiming in. So, hey, we have Garnell is in the building. Hey, Garnell, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for chiming in. James heading is joining. Hey, James, thanks for chiming in. Go ahead and hit that share button and tell me where you're watching from. If you're watching from Credit Warriors, write down Warriors. If you are watching from um, Black Owned Business Portal, I want you to do B.O. B portal. If you're watching from your um, timeline, right, timeline, um, whatever group you're watching from, go ahead and type in your group and also type in the city that you are watching from. So thank you so much for chiming in and go ahead and hit that share button. So James Hedden has joined. Hey, James. Joe Meredith has joined. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? All right, good stuff. I am winning. Matt Hayes has joined. Hey, Matty Ice, how are you doing? Garnell has joined. Hey, Garnell, how are you doing? Hassan has Momo is in the building. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Go ahead and share this in as many places on all of your social media platform. Share and spread the world. Now, if you've never watched me before and you don't know who I am, let me tell you who I am and what I do and the reason why we have so many people watching and sharing and participating. So my name is Edeen Cole. I am the CEO of Dean Cole Financial, and we are a consulting firm, and we specialize in working capital, alternative finance, and business credit development, okay? Now, um, we have an online course that teaches you how to build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit. And so, um, <clears throat> That's what I do. That's what I teach. I teach on economic empowerment. I try to be extremely conscious as I can be, but also I just believe in economic empowerment. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, yellow, Puerto Rican, or Haitian. My name is Fife Dog from the Zulu Nation. How many of my 80 babies know this? So if you are an 80s baby and you know Tribe Called Quest, I want you to tap that thumbs up button. Tap that thumbs up button if you understand that reference. If you don't understand the reference and you're not an 80s baby, you know who um, Young Dirk is and you know who um, Fetty Wap is and you don't know who um, A Tribe Called Quest is, I want you to tap the laughy face so you're laughing at us old folks. So if you know who A Tribe Called Quest is and you know Fife Dog and you know the reference I just did, tap that thumbs up button. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like who is Fife Dog and how can you put mustard on them and all the other stuff, I want you to tap the laughy face. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. Awesome. So I see the thumbs up. All right. Garnell is giving me the thumbs up in the um, comments. All right. I see Alicia participating. Hassan participating. Um, Stacy participating. Thank you so much for the times for the thumbs up. Awesome. I see Lisa participating. Good stuff. Awesome. Yes. So <laughs> what I do is I teach economic empowerment. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're black, black, white, yellow, Puerto Rican, or Haitian. It does not matter. Um, I teach um, how you're able to um, build your business and build it the proper way. OK. Um, unfortunately, there are eight thousand one hundred businesses that fail every single day in the United States of America. 8,100 businesses, I'm sorry, there are 8,100 businesses that fail every single day in the United States of America. And because of that, that's why I started my consulting firm. Um, what gave me the strength to step out on faith and do my consulting firm was I was working for a very large um, corporation, very large bank. I have over two decades. I'm getting old, guys. My birthday is at the end of the month, by the way. January 31st, Aquarius is in the building. But I have close to two decades of experience working for banks, banking and finance. So um, when, you work, when you work at the bank, you could see someone's application. You could know why they're about to be denied, but you could not give them the reason that they're denied. Like, have you ever like gone to a bank and you looked at your bank? You're like, come on, bro. Like, tell me what it is. Like, if you've ever done that before, I want you to tap the thumbs up button. Give me five thumbs up. So tap the thumbs up button five times. If your thumbs up button is not working, I want you to give me five thumbs up in the comments. So if you've ever gone to your bank and your banker and you felt like somebody you had a relationship with and you tried to get approved and they kept denying you and the person never told you why and you felt like they knew why they could not tell you, tap that thumbs up button. Now, 
as an employee of the bank, I'm not able to tell you as an employee of the bank because that goes against the Fair Lending Act and also is considered fraud or manipulation. So <clears throat> as an um, employee of the bank, I would see applications come in the smallest thing wrong with it and I can't tell the person what to do to fix it and then I would see these other people from other ethnos other ethnicity other background they have everything lined up completely and get approved let me tell you guys my breaking point and my changing point I was working for this very large corporation that specialized in the small business space giving out funding um, in their division and I sat right here and the underwriting department was literally right there. Like I physically would walk over. I actually had a crush on one of the underwriters and I used to always go over there and talk to her and ask her out all the time and she would say no. <laughs> she was like, nah, I don't like to date people I work with. But um, ladies, if you guys are like that and you don't like to date people you work with, I want you to tap that heart button. And fellas, if you um, are like that and if you've ever tried to date somebody who you work with or if you, um, or if you believe in that, I want you to tap the heart button too. So tap that heart button if you have ever tried to date somebody you worked with. Let me make sure I'm not by myself. Okay, thank you. Okay, Lisa, thank you so much, Lisa. Dante, thank you so much, Dante. I'm not the creep by myself. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, thank you. So, so nevertheless, I um, would be in the underwriting department a lot. And so because of the relationship I had, they would send me files because I got paid commission every time I would close an account, close a deal. And this was my breaking point. There was two applications that came in. A young African-American man who owned a cleaning company. And it was this um, anonymous company. I think it was called like, I can't say the name. Ooh, I was about to say the name. It was something that had three letters in their name. All right. And they came in and my, I called both of them. The gentleman who um, he, he had, I saw it. He got, he could have gotten approved for, um, he was trying to get approved for $2,500 line of credit, something small. We could not approve him because of something he left out on the form. But this other company, the only person in the company who spoke English was the secretary. Everybody else in the company were, was Vietnamese. And we got them approved for $30,000 right on the spot. Why? These were both same applications. And he actually could have gotten approved for $30,000 if he set himself up the proper way. But one group of people, one they knew and he didn't. And that right there was when I said, I need to teach my people. People perish for lack of knowledge. So true. So I wrote my first book and I became a number one bestseller. After becoming the number one bestseller, um, I said, you know what, let me step out on faith and let me start my consulting firm. And now I've started my consulting firm. We have a 98% approval rating. The reason why we have a 98% approval rating is because we know the underwriter guidelines. Now, this is the caveat, right? Because I'm not an employee of the bank, but I am contracted with the bank, I now know the underwriting guidelines and I can tell my clients to structure the deal the proper way so we can get you approved, okay? So that is my background. That is the reason why somebody shared this with you, that's the reason why you're watching this and you're here. Now, if you're watching this from YouTube, thanks for watching my vlog. Thanks for clicking the link and coming and checking out the live Q&A or the live, the live webinar. So that is a bit of my background. Now, um, I am an orator and I speak um, all over. And um, I actually have a speaking engagement coming up in Alabama. So if you're going to be in Alabama, like the 28th or the 29th, let me know and I'll let you know what I'll be speaking. Um, and one of the things that I run across all the time is young entrepreneurs who don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. And I always hear the same story, the same story. And I'm going to share with you guys three things and I'm going to be out of your way. Three things very quickly that you need to know as an entrepreneur to be a successful entrepreneur. Now, if you're watching this, all right, and you are an entrepreneur and you or you want to start your business, I want you to type B-I-Z in the comments. So if you're watching this now and you are a business owner or you want to start a business, I want you to write B-I-Z right here. Now, if you are not a business owner and you are in corporate America, I want you to put C-A for corporate America. All right, so if you're a business owner, write B-I-Z. All right, so we have um, Nika MC is a business owner. All right, um, Wanda Thompson is a business owner. Awesome, so type B-I-Z if you are a business owner. Awesome, we got Nika Perry is a business owner. Awesome, so B-I-Z if you are a business owner. Um, if you're in corporate America, I want you to put CA for corporate America. If you're in ministry, I want you to put MIN for ministry. And if you are a student, I want you to put student. 
All right. So let's kind of see. So based on you guys responses, it lets me know what to share and how to share the majority of who's all in the building. OK, awesome. All right. So we have. All right. Mika. Nika MC is a business owner. All right. Awesome. Juanita Thompson is a business owner. Awesome. Nika Perry is a business owner. Kiana Rose has joined. Hey, Kiana, how are you doing? Melissa um, Dunday is a business owner. Tanisha Berry is a business owner. Calvis Jones is a business owner. Awesome. Miss America DeWalk is a business owner. Joe Meredith is a business owner. Um, Macola Brooks is both of them. Listen, I actually have a book about that. It's called Do Your Work and Mind Your Business. So listen, I was there. Before I stepped out and did my business full time, I was still working in corporate America, but I couldn't work for the banks. So I went and worked for another small business that helps small business um, do consulting work. But I did the exact same thing. So don't feel bad, um, Miss Brooks. I completely understand. Got Listen, you got to make your money. Make your money, baby. So she's a business owner and corporate America. Awesome. So Patrice Scott is a business owner. All right. Um, Felicia is um, corporate America. Awesome. Felicia Holman is in corporate America. This applies to you as well. All right. Akari Jones is a business owner. All right. Um, Julie Susie Peer. Um, P Pierce is a corporate America. Awesome. Cynthia Jones is a is um, a business owner. Awesome. Kelly Ox is in corporate America. Joe Meredith is a business owner. Awesome. There's a lot of business owners that are um, watching today. Awesome. So this is vital for you guys. Now there are three type of people. There are three type of relationships that you guys are going to have in your journey for entrepreneurship. Now, granted, yes, you're going to come across thousands of people. You're going to come across men and women, boys and girls from all walks of life. You're going to come across people from different ethnos, different ethnicities, different sexual proclivities. You're going to come across a, a myriad of people. You're going to have contemporaries that are in the business with you. You're going to have mentors and you're going to have colleagues, but they're three, they're just all of those people comprise of three people. All right. They're just three people that comprise of, of the type of people you're going to get. One, is the spectator, two is the participator, and three is the collaborator, all right? So one is a spectator, two is the participator, and three is the collaborator. So we're gonna start with one spectator. Now, if, you, if, if I have your undivided attention and you're ready to go, I want you to tap the heart button for me five times, all right? So share the love and tap the heart button for me five times. I wanna make sure I haven't lost you, okay? Um, because this is very interactive. I wanna make sure that I am teaching truth to power and I'm not just bumping my gums, but I'm being effective. Okay, awesome. All right, I see Stacy giving me the hearts. All right, I see Tracy, I see DJ giving me the hearts. Awesome. I see she um, Shelly giving me the hearts. Awesome, good stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I I see Alicia giving me the hearts. Awesome. So we're up to a thousand people watching this right now. There are almost close to 2000 people that's watching this and all of you guys are tapping the heart button, letting me know that you guys are ready to go. Awesome. Good stuff. All right. Awesome. 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 All right. Awesome. Good stuff. So the three, like I said, the three type of people now of the sum total of everyone you run into, they come up into three categories. It's the spectator. It's the participator and it's the collaborator. All right. So I'm going to start off with the, the, the gross population and the most unvaluable um, of them all is the spectator. OK, so write down spectator. If you're with me, write down spectator. So write spectator down in the comments. All right. So we're at spectator. All right. Now, this, let me tell you about the spectator. The spectator is the person that is going to watch you in all of your endeavors and they're going to talk about you. When you're doing good, they're going to talk about you. When you're doing bad, they're going to talk about you. When you knocked it out of the park, they're going to talk about you. When you failed, they're going to talk about you. The spectator is going to talk about you out of all of the groups of people that are around you, the spectators. Now, let me tell you how to maximize your relationship with your spectators. Your spectators oftentimes are the people we wish had support us the most. Okay, hear me very clear. Our spectators are the ones that we wish would support us the most. These are your friends. These are your family members. These are some of your coworkers. These are people that you know. Now, this is something that I had to learn that, that blessed me tremendously. And when I learned this, I was able to step out and refocus my energy. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because a lot of you guys are focusing your energy on the wrong place. And I'm gonna tell you why you're focusing your energy on the wrong place, all right? So your spectator are your friends, your family members. They're your husbands, 
They're your wives. They're your baby daddies. They're your baby mamas. They're your side chick. They're your side dude. There are, these are the people who your church members, your pastors, these are the people who you wish would support you. And the reason why you wish they would support you is because these are the ones that are closest to you. And also these are the ones that speak the loudest. Okay. If you know what I'm talking about, if you have some people right now that they watch your every move, you can't make a post without them saying something. You can't come up with the idea without them saying something. If you know that there are people that are around you that are spectators and they always have something to say, I want you to tap that laughy face for me five times. Okay. So we're going to tap the laughy face for me five times. If your laughy face is not working, give me five laughy emojis in the comments. All right. So if you have people that you just wish they would get on board with you, but they just would not get on board with you. They're the closest ones to you. They're the ones that you're the most comfortable with. These are your spectators. A lot of us are putting a majority of our energy in our spectators because we are comfortable and it's our comfort zone. Now, let me tell you the thing about the spectators. The spectators are the loudest. They're the ones that are the closest to us. They're the ones that are going to tell you that you can't do it when you're called to do it. They're going to be the ones to tell you how stupid your idea is when there are their genius ideas inside of you. These are the ones that are going to tell you to quit right before you're about to get your breakthrough. The reason why is because your spectators, the same way that you're the closest to them, they're the closest to you. And what they think that they're doing is they think that they have your best interest at heart. Let me show you. If you've ever been in a movie theater, all right, if you've ever been in a movie theater and fellas, you, when we take women out and they're screaming at the screen, and the person cannot hit the movie is already played out, but they're yelling, don't go back there. A girl, he cheating on you or a dude, go ahead and grab the gun. If you've ever experienced that, okay, if you've ever experienced that, I want you to give me five thumbs up. Let me know I'm not talking to myself and I'm not a weirdo by myself. If you've ever watched a movie and there are people that are jumping and jerking and they're spectators, they are watching this. They're the ones that are the loudest. They are the ones that um, have the most to say, but they are the most ineffective people in your life. Um, to be a successful entrepreneur, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and you're going to have to leave the spectators alone. Okay. These are the people who will eventually go from being a spectator to a participator. And I'm going to talk about the participator in one second. So the thing about the spectator, so they're the spectators. These are the ones that look at everything that you do. And a lot of times they are haters. They are haters. There's some people, they're going to talk bad about you. They're going to talk bad about your kids. They're going to talk bad about your credit. They're going to talk bad about your job. They're going to talk bad about your car. They're going to talk bad about your hair. They're going to talk bad about any and everything you do. But this is the thing about it. You have to realize and understand this. Who are they talking about? Hmm? Who are they talking about? They're talking about you because they are watching you. All eyes are on you. The reason why is because you are lining up to get into what you're called to do to be the most successful person that you can be. All right. So you are lining up and as you get ready to line up, all eyes will be on you. Now, this is the other thing about spectators. Spectators oftentimes are petty. Spectators oftentimes are like the crows from the whiz. You can't win. For all my 90s babies, y'all have no idea what I'm talking about. All my millennials, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But all my 80s babies and my 70s babies, y'all rocking right now with me. <laughs> they, they, they tell you what you cannot do. And let me tell you the reason why. It's not because they hate you. It's not because they don't love you. It's because they can't see themselves doing it. All right? The way someone treats you is the way that they inwardly feel about themselves. Hear me and hear me clearly. The way someone treats you is the way that they feel and hear about themselves. So if you've ever trying to figure out how someone um, feels or how you're able to connect with somebody, the way that they treat you is the way that they feel about themselves. And once you understand this, you can now focus your energy, leave them where they are. Now, this is the other thing about a spectator. You're not going to lose a spectator. You're going to have haters. They're always going to be there. You're going to have congratulators. They're always going to be there. Don't worry about trying to keep somebody around who has no intentions on going anywhere. All right. Don't worry about focusing your energy on trying to keep somebody around that has no intentions on going anywhere because they're stuck in mediocrity. They, they're stuck right where they are and they're going to watch you fail. They're going to watch you succeed. But at the end of the day, they're going to watch you. That is a spectator. The second group of people is your participators. Your participators 
are the most valuable people to you. So if you're with me and you understand where I'm coming from, I want you to write spectator down in the comments. Write spec, uh, write, I'm sorry, write participator down in the comments. So if you're with me, all right, and you're ready to go to the next point, I want you to write participator down in the comments. All right, so participators, these are your clients, your future clients. This is the key to getting your spectators to be participators. This is very key. When your enemies, not enemies, when, your str when strangers support you, then your friends will celebrate you. All right? So when your strangers support you, then your friends will celebrate you. Let me ask you, have you ever tried to do something, whether it was join a team or pass a test or achieve a goal or get a raise on your job or start a new business or come out with, get that new car, get that new house, get that debt taken off or get your credit score boost and somebody the whole time said, you can't do it. And the minute you do it, they said, I knew you could do it. I knew that was in you. If, if that has ever happened to you, I want you to tap that laughy face. Tap the laughy face for me because we're laughing at the irony of it. People who will sit there and watch you struggle. And then when you finally get your strength and get on your two feet, they say, I knew you can do it all the time. If you've ever experienced anything like that, I want you to tap that laughy face. Let's laugh at the irony of that. Laugh at that. I saw this meme that I thought was so cool. It said, hustle hard to your enemies ask if you're hiring. Have you heard that before? Hustle hard until your enemies ask if you're hiring. People that go from spectators to participators. Now, when you focus all of your energy on your participators, this is how you're going to make ground, okay? Now, let me explain your participators. Your participators are people who are going to join your group. Participators are people who need your service and are waiting for you to introduce yourself to them. You have to get past your self-limiting belief to get to your participators. Now let's talk about the participators, how we're able to capitalize and maximize with your participators. Your participators are strangers. They're some friends, but they are strangers. Okay. These are people who have a need for what it is that you offer whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's some hair extensions, whether it's watching their kids, whether it's building their house, whether it's selling them their car, whether it's doing their taxes, whether it's massaging the pain out of their body, they have a need for what you do. There, we have a self-limiting belief that stops us from getting to our participators. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever want to do business with somebody, but they not respond to you or they're closed that day or you can't find the answers and then you go to somebody else. If that's ever happened to you before, if you want to have your heart and mind set on doing business with somebody, but for some reason you couldn't catch them, they weren't returning a phone call or they were closed or they were too busy. So you either go to their competitor next door or you call somebody else that does it, or you look in the phone book, or you Google it. If that's ever happened to you, I want you to tap that thumbs up button for me five times. If you have ever wanted to, if you wanted something to eat and the line was just too long, you, you had your heart set on Chick-fil-A, but you went to Zaxby's, right? Because the, 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 the desire didn't go away. You had your heart and your mind set on doing business with James or doing business with um, Julie or doing business with Jaquan or doing business with Jackie. You had your heart and mind set on it, but they, they act like they don't want no money. They act like they don't want to return the phone call. So what do you do? You call up Amy. You call up Adam. You call up um, Aaron. You know, what you do is you keep moving forward. This is the thing about your participators. They're going to do business either with you or with somebody else. So you have to focus your energy and focus your efforts on maximizing the relationship with your participators. Let me tell you how you focus on your participators. Okay. The way that you focus on your participators, thing number one, get past your self-limiting belief. Okay. You are smart enough. You do know enough. You are old enough. You are young enough. You are talented enough. Your race does not matter. Your sexual proclivity does not matter. Who you know does not matter. Because you decide this is what you want to do, you are now in position to gain that person as a client. Okay? If you understand where I'm coming from and I haven't lost you, I want you to tap the thumbs up button. 
if I've lost you and you don't know I'm coming from, I want you to give me the sad face, okay? So I, 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 need, I know if I can move forward. So if you understand where I'm coming from, tap that thumbs up button um, so you can understand because we're talking to majority business owners. Even this works in corporate America as well. You have some people on your job that um, they're watching your every move. Then you have some other people on in your um, industry uh, that are your um, constituents as well as your um, contemporaries that they will help you and they will participate in any little program or project that you have set forth. All right. So if you if you if you're with me, I want you to tap the thumbs up button. Tap that thumbs up button. If you are if you're lost, I want you to tap the sad face. Okay, and ask your question below. So tap the thumbs up button if you understand where I'm coming from. If you don't understand where I'm coming from, I want you to tap the sad face. Okay, awesome. I see Lisa tapping the thumbs up button. I see um, Tina tapping the thumbs up button. I see um, Tanisha Berry says, okay, uh, thoughts will make us or break us. That's correct, um, Tanisha. Your thoughts will make us or break us. That's right. So we have to get past our self-limiting beliefs. Dante is giving me the thumbs up. Michael is giving me the thumbs up. Awesome. I see Lisa giving me the thumbs up. Mary's giving me the thumbs up. Thank you so much for your participating. I really appreciate this. Let me know I'm not talking to myself. So how do you do this as an entrepreneur? You can start right where you are, okay? We have to take away all of our excuses. You can either make changes or you can make excuses, but you cannot make both, okay? We have to get past all of your self-limiting beliefs and your excuses, get past your fear, and this is how you do it. Thing number one, Set up your business the proper way with setting up your, your um, foundation as an LLC. Get a business professional website. Save the money that you need to put work into action. Um, actually write a plan. Like if you guys ever, I'm in, my, I'm in my home office by the way. And let me show you guys something right here. And look, I got one open right now. You see this? All three of these things are filled to the brim. They're filled to the brim with action oriented goals. All right. I said, I'm going to help a thousand entrepreneurs this year. I said that I'm going to launch this course and we're going to have 30 people in it. I said that I'm going to do X, Y, Z, boom, 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 boom. And let me tell you what happened. When I put pen to a piece of paper, the universe gets behind me and it starts bringing it to pass, whether you like it or not. Okay. Like someone said that, um, that we, as we think in our hearts, the Bible says, oh, I hate to be spiritual. But one of the best, number one best-selling books on earth says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think this way, you're going to act this way. Put it down on a piece of paper. That same best-selling book says that um, write the vision and make it plain so they that read it can run. There have been times where I've gotten frustrated and gotten sidetracked and forgotten any and everything that I said that I wanted to do. And I pull up one of these things and it encourages me and I keep moving forward where I left off, okay? So it's very in key and very vital. A lot of people ask me, well, Dean, can you help me with the business plan? Yes, I can help you with a business plan. What do you want? What do you see yourself? Write it down, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. How much money are you gonna need? That's a business plan. Write down your goals, put a fancy logo on top, put your business address at the bottom of that, put your phone number and your email, that's your business plan. Now make it happen. All right, so getting past our self-limiting beliefs. That's thing number one, um, to, to focus on your participators. The second thing is you need to be where your participators are. Know the niche that you want. Spend your energy and your efforts where, where they are. Um, there's a lot of people that are watching from the credit warriors right now. The thing that I love so much about the credit warriors is that the Credit Warriors is the place for you to go if you want to know how to build your personal credit, if you want to know how to become debt free, and if you want to know a lot of the loopholes and you want to wipe a lot of things out. I have seen people get approved for $30,000 lines of credit, $100,000 credit cards. These are regular librarians, people who work at Taco Bell, people who are, these are not big fancy CEOs. These are not big corp. I've seen people who work part-time as a school teacher, get a $20,000 credit card from Navy Federal. The reason why is because they were in the right place. You have to make sure that you're in the right place. You have to step out of your comfort zone and focus all of your energy and your efforts on your participators. Don't focus any more energy and effort on your spectators. They're going to watch irregardless. Let them watch. 
Let them watch. Let them hate. Let them watch. They're going to talk about you when you're doing good. They're going to talk about you when you're doing bad. But guess what? They're talking about you. All right? The reason why we got God forsaken Donald Trump as a president is because he understood that, that they're going to talk. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Let them watch. Let them talk. Because people going to want to know, well, who, 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 who is this Stacey y'all keep talking about? Why y'all hating on Stacey so bad? Like, who, like why, why, why y'all hating on her man so much? Why? Well, let me see. It's going to draw that to you. Let them watch. Let them talk. Focus your energy and your efforts on maximizing your participators. Now, that's thing number one, getting new people, putting yourself in position, networking, putting yourself in position, get your social media game up. Make sure that you have a business presence. ABC, always be closing. When you are an entrepreneur, there ain't no off days. This four hour work week and all this fairy tale that people tell you, listen, fantasy is what you want, but reality is what you need. I am a for real CEO. There are three days in my seven days of the week that I work 24 hours because that's just where I am in my um, level of entrepreneurship. If you watch my vlog, there is a hyperlink um, in the comments to my vlog and I vlog my day on YouTube. And so there are days in which you see me ripping and running like this is the day to day life of a true real entrepreneur. You know, this fantasy of a four hour work week and all the other stuff, there's seasons, there's phases to this. All right. Somebody that's 16 years old, they're not going to be able to, to drive a Ferrari. Yes. But when that same 16 year old, let them become 36 years old, 46 years old. Now you can drive that Ferrari. There are different levels to this. Yes, you still have a driver's license. You still have the desire. You still have the skill. You still have the know-how. But there's levels to this. Same thing in your level of entrepreneurship. It's not going to come easy. It's going to come hard. Marry the idea of hard work. When you focus and marry the idea of hard work and put your energy with your participators, then you're going to see success. The reason why you're not seeing success in your business, the reason why you're not seeing success in your organization is because you're spending too much time with the spectators because they're the loudest. You have to step out of your comfort zone and get with your participators. So thing number one is your spectators. Thing number two is your participators. And thing number three is your collaborators. All right. If you're with me and I haven't lost you, I want you to tap the heart button for me five times. And I'm about to be out of here in a second. I'm going to share some really cool things with you guys about collaboration. So tap that heart button for me five times. If you, if I have not lost you and you're ready to go tap the heart button for me five times. If I have lost you and you don't know what I'm talking about, like Dean, I don't get it. Give me the sad face and write your question below. If I don't answer your question tonight, I personally come back and answer all my questions. There are almost 2,500 people that are watching this right now. And if all 25 of you guys ask me a question, that's why I work 24 hours some of the days. <laughs> Most of the time on Tuesdays and Thursdays are those days that I work 24 hours because I go live every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, if you're watching this, um, if you're watching from my vlog, um, and you, so you guys kind of know what I'm about to talk about next. So thanks for watching the vlog. Um, to, to subscribe to the vlog on YouTube so you can kind of see what my day-to-day -day is like, there's a link in the description at the top that's um, YouTube forward slash Money Making Motivation. On that um, YouTube channel, I teach um, on business credit, on how to build business credit. I also have a daily vlog that follows me along, and I have a radio show that's going to be airing next week. I'm actually on my vlog. You guys are going to see that I'm going to be at the radio station tomorrow. But anyway, um, so Prime, if you're watching, I'm coming to the, um, tomorrow. I'm going to text you as soon as I'm done so you'll be ready. I got to come to the radio station tomorrow. But anyway, um, so I said all that to say that um, I want to make sure you guys are with me. So thing number one is your spectators. Thing number two is your participators. Thing number three is your collaborators. Now, let me talk to you about your collaborators. When you ignore your spectators and you focus on your participators, the universe is going to make you a magnet. You're going to be a magnet for success. You're going to be a magnet for scrutiny. You're going to be a magnet for opportunities. You're going to be a magnet for distraction. You are now magnetizing yourself. When you ignore your spectators, and focus on your participators, you're going to create a buzz. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, I mean, if you've heard of the term viral, um, I want you to tap the thumbs up button for me five times. If you've ever heard of the term viral, like how, like how to become viral, there are books on how to become viral as an entrepreneur. How do you become viral? How do you have viral videos? How do you have viral catchphrases? How do you have viral memes? If you, if you ever understand where I'm coming from, tap that thumbs up viral. If you understand that term, if you are 
part of the 80s babies and the 70 babies. And you don't know what I mean by viral? Give me the sad face and I'll explain viral. All right, so if you understand viral, tap that thumbs up button so I don't make sure I know what to explain. If you don't understand viral, give me the sad face. Okay, I see a lot of thumbs up. Okay, Tom is giving me thumbs up. Awesome, Stacy is giving me thumbs up. Thank you. Kim is giving me thumbs up. Nicole, awesome. George is giving me thumbs up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Carlos is giving me thumbs up. Okay, I see one sad face, so I'm going to do it really quickly. Okay, what viral is, is a um, new age colloquialism that means popular or it means exciting. All right. So the term viral to have something go viral is a new age colloquialism that means to become popular, high demand and or um, to become popular in high demand and to be attractive. That's the, the best way to describe viral. So if somebody says I want to go viral or I want my video to go viral or I want my my thing to go viral, what they're saying is that they want to be in high demand. They want to have a lot of exposure and they want to be popular now. What happens is that when you focus on your participators and you groom your participators, you give them the best customer service. Like I had to apologize for all of the clients that have been in the School of Business Credit. Um, I have a live um, Q&A for all of the clients that are in the School of Business Credit um, but at between eight and nine. And um, I had to apologize because I haven't been giving them the best customer service because one, I was ill and two, I had to fire somebody um, and I had to hire four people. So I was extremely busy not giving them the best customer service. When you put your energy and efforts on the people that matter the most, then success comes and finds you. And that's the thing about participators as an entrepreneur. Now, let's talk about participators. There is this new age foolishness where people say, don't judge me. Let me, there's this propaganda, and I'm going to say propaganda. I don't know who started the propaganda. There's this propaganda that says, oh, don't judge me or, or you're judging. Let me help you guys understand something. Most of the people who say that, not all the people who say that, most of the people who say that are in their mess and they want to stay in their mess. And they don't want to feel convicted and they don't want to do better. If a dude is cheating on his girl, he say, don't judge me. If a woman is cheating on her man, she say, don't judge me. If a dude is being trifling and not paying his child support, not taking care of his kids, he say, don't judge me. If he's being trifling and he's smoking weed every day, don't judge me. Or he's an alcoholic, don't judge me. If a woman is trifling, she don't clean up her house, don't judge me. If a woman is cheating and she is um, cheating on the taxes, don't judge me. If a woman can't cook um, Raymond noodles with the instructions, don't judge me. Like What happens is that when people are stuck in mediocrity, they say, don't judge me. But let me give you guys some truth to power on things. Entrepreneurs, successful people judge every single day. Do not allow mediocre, complacent people to convince you to take on negative behaviors that keep them mediocre. Let me say that again. Do not allow mediocre people to convince you to take on negative um, characteristics and habits that keep them mediocre. You need to judge. There is some woman that's watching this right now that's fine as all outdoors. I'm talking about she looked like a Coke bottle, ain't got on no waist trainer to save her life. She's about her business. Her hair stay done. Her nails stay done. She needs to judge every single person that she comes in contact with, especially if she have kids. Judge him. There's a man watching this right now that is about his business, that is on top of his game, and everybody is trying to get you to do business with you. They got this idea, they got this concept, and they, they see that you are about your business, and they want, you, they want your attention. You need to judge them. There is somebody that's watching right now that has scholarships to go to different schools, to go to different internships. You need to judge who's asking for your participation, okay? Judge who is asking for your participation, and let me show you the right way to judge. Now, let's let's talk about this. All right. I'm about to speak truth to power on some things. The number one best selling book of all time says you shall judge them. And this, this says that you should judge a person and you shall know them by the fruit that they bear. OK, you will judge them and you will know them by the fruit that they bear. Let me give you an example. Take this foolishness of don't judge me out of your mind when you are an entrepreneur, because guess what? You're going to have to hire somebody. So as an entrepreneur, I just had to hire four people. As an entrepreneur, best believe, what did I do? I went to their Facebook page and see if they're turning up. I judged the fruit. I listened to how they spoke. 
And I saw if they were able to speak intelligently or if they used a lot of vernacular and a lot of slang. You're not going to represent my company and my brand. I'm judging your fruit. When I look at your picture, are you clean? Are you pressed? Are you crisp? I'm judging your fruit. I'm single. I'm 100% single. I ain't got no side chick, ain't got no wife, ain't got no girlfriend. I'm 100% single. I'm about to start dating again. Best believe when I do start dating, I'm judging that woman. Do you have green and blue hair, do you have polka dots um, all, in your, all on your face? Do you have face tattoos? I'm a CEO and I have red carpet events and I'm a public figure. You can't stand next to me if that's who you are. Not saying nothing bad about you. I'm not condemning you, but I'm judging you. If you don't like kids and don't love kids, and my daughter is the air I breathe. I live and die for that girl. You hear me? But if you don't like kids, I'm not going to convince you to like kids. I have to judge that. All right. Same thing with you. You need to judge them by the fruit that they bear. That's thing number one. Judge a person by what the fruit that they bear. Not what somebody said about them. OK, not something you heard, but actually what you're able to see. It says you should judge them by the fruit that they bear. So that means if a man is coming to you and he says, I have a great business idea. Let me see what you got. If he comes with notebooks and he comes with a budget and he comes with a goal and he comes with a clear, concise strategy. You judge that's some good fruit right there. You do business with that young man. If there's a man that comes to you and he says, you know what, I'm ready to um, settle down or I'm ready to be in a committed relationship and you go up and down his timeline and you don't see him flirting with every chick and you go and you kind of see who his friends are and, and, and you see how he interacts with you. You see how he treats you. you. If he says what he means, it means what he says. Let your guard down. You invest in that young man. He is about his business. You judge that about him. OK, if somebody has failed in life, who has committed a felony, committed a crime, they have done something bad. They have done something ir irreprehensible and they com they commit themselves to doing better. And you can see the change in them. That same book says that there must be a change within a man before the outer man can be renewed. There must be a change on the inside before the outer man can be renewed. So if you see a change on the outside, if he is straightening up the way he walks, if he is putting his um, his um, clothes together, um, if he if he got his his um, clothes on his hip, if he don't smell like weed, if he don't smell like alcohol, if he if he don't have powder on his nose, if he if he's where he say he's going to be, that man has changed. Then you give that man a second, third, fourth, fifth chance. Or that woman, a second, third, fifth chance. That being said, you have to judge when you are with your participators. If you do not judge, you're going to be connected to that person. And the fate that they have now comes to you. Hear me and hear me clearly. If you have somebody that ain't got a pot to piss in or wanted to throw it out of, and they're giving you some bogus thing to invest in. If they're telling you to call this person and call that person and get four or five people to sign up for this or get, get three people to sign up for this, all you got to do is pay this $75 or call this phone call and listen to this message and there is no fruit behind it, you're going to have this. A lot of times people say, if I would have known better, you do know better. Don't allow um, the, 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 your ambition to blind you, okay? You need to judge them by the fruit that they bear. That's thing number one. When we're talking about your participators. Thing number two, that same best-selling book of economic empowerment says, judge them by the same measure that you meet. All right. Judge them by the same measure that you meet. Now, if you're with me and you understand where I'm coming from, I want you to tap the heart button for me five times. I'm about to go to my, my fifth and final point, and I'm going to share something very exciting with you guys. So tap, that fifth, so tap that heart button for me five times if you understand where I'm coming from. So tap that heart button for me five times if you understand where I'm coming from and you're ready for me to go to the, my um, third and final point um, when we're talking about the participators. I want to make sure I had not lost you. Now, if I have lost you and you don't know what I'm talking about, I want you to give me the sad face and write your question below. OK, so um, just like what um, Erica um, Evan just did, she's giving me the heart buttons. Dorothy, um, um, Dorothy um, Harrell is giving me the heart emoji. So if your heart button is not working, I want you to give me the heart buttons as well in the um, comments below. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, I see Yana um, is giving me the hearts button. Joe Meredith, Smoking Joe Frazier, who happens to be a client of mine, giving me the heart buttons. Awesome. Patrice Scott Chisholm is giving me the heart buttons. Sean Brown is giving me the heart buttons. Um, thank you so much, Sean Brown. Awesome. All right. So. This is the thing. You judge them by the same measure you meet. So for all my ladies that are about your business 
and you got high standards, baby, keep them standards high. For all my ladies that are high maintenance and somebody's trying to convince you not to be, if you are that, if you are the change that you want to see, I need you to stay there. Don't let somebody convince you to take your standards down just because they're not man enough or woman enough to come up to your standards. Fellas, if you are picky and you are stubborn and you're bullheaded, if you know that you're an alpha male and you come into the table with something, then I need you to keep your standards high. Okay? If you're in business and you are producing and you have clientele and you have um, a buzz and you have a demand, that means that everybody you do business with needs to be on the exact same level as you. Now, let's talk a little bit about participators. So remember, we're talking, I mean, collaborators. Thing number one, these are the spectators. Thing number two, these are the people who are um, participators. These are your clients, people who are with you. Thing number three, your collaborators. Now, there are seasons of collaboration. There are seasons of, of collaborations. When you are about your business, you become a magnet. Okay, like I said, you're going to attract people to you. People are going to ask you to pour into them. People are going to ask you them to reach out to you. People are going to ask you, like, I'm so grateful, so grateful that I am in high demand. Because I remember that I couldn't ask, I, I had to beg people to come. And now I thank God that I'm, I'm overbooked. And I thank God that I went from being overlooked to being overbooked. Thank you, Jesus, for being overlooked to being overbooked. So grateful for that. But I said all that to say this. One of the things I had to learn along the way is you have to differentiate when people are serious. You have to judge them by the same measure you meet. So if you are action-oriented... You need to do business with people that are action oriented. That's the reason why my course is only $50 a month. If you cannot set aside $50, you're not serious. It doesn't mean that I, I, I'm not. Now, one of my clients um, posted a video of a gentleman that does the exact same thing that I do. Um, and his course is $3,500. I think, matter of fact, in the video that he posted, the person paid $10,000 for that. So I know without any equivocations, the value of what the School of Business Credit is. But the reason why I'm doing the School of Business Credit, because one, we make our money from when clients get funded. That's thing number one. Thing number two is I want to help you, but I'm only going to help you if you're willing to help yourself. Okay? Fellas, you might have a homeboy right now, and all he does is whine and complain. But if you don't see him putting in the effort, I want you to give me a thumbs up if you're going to leave that joker right where he's staying. Give me a thumbs up. Ladies, if you know without a shadow of a doubt you have a girlfriend and she has all this great idea, this ambition, but for some reason you can't see her putting in effort behind you, I want you to tap that heart button for me five times. So, fellas, if you know people right now, both male or female, they talk a good game, but they're not having any action, give me the thumbs up. Ladies, if you know somebody that's talking a good game, but they don't have any actions, I want you to give me that heart button. So, fellas, give me the thumbs up. Ladies, give me the heart. When you are collaborating with somebody, you have to see that they are doing what it is that they're, they, they have a vested interest, okay? Um, people are going to ask you to mentor them. People are going to ask you to pour into them. Be careful of energy vampires. People like to be around you because you're popping and you're hot. If they don't have any skin in the game, leave them right where they stand. OK, it doesn't mean that you it doesn't mean that you hate them. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It just means that they are not magnetized like you're magnetized and they're going to leave you where you are. There is a parable of a gentleman named Abraham. And in that parable of a gentleman named Abraham, there were some people that there was a person that came along to him. His name was Lot. And Abraham got some wonderful instructions and said that you're going to be so successful. You can number the stars. That's how, that's how successful you're going to be. If you can number the stars, he couldn't number the stars. And he was like, Oh, I can't number these stars. This is how successful you're going to be. But lot was with him and lot was, was holding on to his coattails and kept him bound. And the thing about lot was lot. Well, I think if I remember correctly, was his nephew. He was his family or his kin. So he was told to get away from his family, get away from his kindred, Separate yourself from Lot, and that's when all the doors start to open up. So you have to ask yourself, I will give out hours. Every Tuesday, Thursday, from 9 to whenever, sometimes I go for two hours. I give out. I educate. I empower. I give out. Some people come to my inbox, and I would answer a couple of their questions, um, especially if somebody is in need and, like, they really have a need, and I feel led to really pour into them, I will. But there's also a huge amount of people that's 
telling me, well, someday or one day or maybe. I, I don't, I don't, and I always say, I don't mean to be rude, but my time is valuable. This and the third. That's something you're gonna have to learn when you're dealing with your um, collaborators, okay? So there's seasons of collaboration. You can only mentor someone when you have successfully achieved what it is that you need to achieve. A lot of people right now are mentors that ain't got no business being mentors because you still need to be mentored. When you link up with somebody that has your answer, mentorship is very vital. It's extremely key. Let me tell you guys something today. And I've talked about this on my vlog. I got so excited. So if you guys saw my vlog and you're watching this on the replay, you already know what I'm about to tell you guys. But let me let me tell you. If you so everybody who watches my vlog kind of gets a behind the scene of what things I do on Facebook. So if you watch my vlog, don't tell everybody, but I'm about to tell everybody. I had a meeting today with one of my mentors. This is a female mentor of mine. She is one of the most unassuming millionaires you would ever meet. One of the most unassuming millionaires you would ever meet. And um she and I was talking and she was asking how the course was going, the School of Business Credit. And when you're in the School of Business Credit, we report to your business credit because we help you build business credit. But we wanted something for personal credit. She gave me this one, this one jewel, one jewel that I know without a shadow of a doubt just made me $250,000. This one thing that she gave me, I now can report business credit and personal credit. So anybody that's in our course they are going to be able to build business credit and personal credit just by being in a place where you need it. I said all of that to say this, link up with people who have your answer and not your problem when you're dealing with collaborators. Um, as I talk about collaborators, a lot of you guys are watching from Credit Warriors. Um, I am so excited and so proud to say that I have linked up with Credit Warriors. If you guys have absolutely no idea what Credit Warriors is, go up to your search bar and type in Credit Warriors each one teach one. It is a nonprofit organization that teaches the specificity and the practicality on how you're able to clean up your personal credit. I specialize in business credit. Any and everything about business credit, I got you. I know it, I got you. Now, when it comes to lending, I know that as well because that's my background. So I have come partnered up with Credit Warriors and not only have I partnered up, I'm so excited to say that I am a board member of the nonprofit organization. Credit Warriors has 51,000 members, and I am the Director of Economic Development for Credit Warriors, and I am so excited for that. So if you are watching from Credit Warriors, I want you to tap that thumbs up button for me 10 times, tap that thumbs up button for me 10 times, and I'm going to say what I'm bringing to the table to Credit Warriors. Um, so tap that thumbs up button. If you don't know Credit Warriors and you don't know what I'm talking about, I want you to tap that um, sad face button, and then I want you to go up Type in Credit Warriors, each one teach one. It is 100% free. It's a nonprofit organization that teaches. I have not seen such success when it comes to personal credit like I have with Credit Warriors. Credit Warriors is the most phenomenal place I have ever seen. They have things that are called 609 letters that you can wipe things completely off your credit. They, there are even ways that you can take bankruptcies off your credit. One of the... the um, one of the um, board members, Hassan, um, took a bankruptcy off his credit report. Hassan is, um, he took the bankruptcy off his credit report. I mean, you're able to take judgments off your credit report and they teach this for free for a small amount of time. And now let me tell you what I'm bringing to the table. Um, when it comes to business credit, there's something that's called a PG, which stands for personal guarantee. Now as a personal guarantee, um, we teach on how to boost your personal credit so that you can get funding. So let me give you an example. You can build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit. In our course, you're guaranteed $20,000 in business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit. Okay, that's completely separate from your personal credit in the School of Business Credit, $20,000. And that's the minimum. That's guaranteed or you get a money back guarantee. If you look at our video testimonials, most of our clients say they got about $50,000, $75,000 because we like to underpromise and overdeliver. That's the business credit. It doesn't matter what your personal credit is, you can build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit. However, if you're able to build your personal credit up to at least a 680, it is like skyrocketing your business. So let me explain. If you're in, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're in downtown Atlanta and there is a billionaire 
that's at the top of one of the tallest buildings. Matter of fact, my building, I am in the Queen building and we have 40 floors. If somebody says, hey, be at five Concourse Parkway, come up to the 40th floor, you get to the 40th floor, you're gonna get a million dollars. So everybody gets together and everybody comes to the Queen building to go to the 40th floor. But the elevator can only take 20 people. Now the, now the billionaire says, it doesn't matter what time you get here, just get here. If you can get here, then you're going to get this million dollars. How many of you guys know that there are people that would not even take the stairs because they're too lazy? Well, I don't want to take the elevator. I want part of the 20 people, so I don't want to take the elevator. Then there's another group of people that says, I don't care. I'm going to climb up them stairs. That's what it's like building business credit without a personal guarantee, climbing up the stairs. But if you're able to do a personal guarantee, it's like taking the elevator. When you have a 680 credit score, you're now able to get larger lines of credit a lot faster. Now, in doing that, um, we have amassed a program. Now, everybody right now that's enrolled in the School of Business Credit, what I'm about to share with you guys, you guys automatically get. We just talked about this. Um, so you guys are going to automatically get this. So if you're already enrolled in the School of Business Credit, you guys already have this. So you guys know that this is. So I want to reiterate this to you guys right now. There are three type of people that you're going to come up with. It does not matter their ethnicity, it does not matter their ethnos, it does not matter their intellectual prowess, whether they are GED or they are grad school or whether they have a master's or whether they have a 10th grade education, it does not matter. Whether they are black, white, yellow, Puerto Rican or Haitian, it does not matter their sexual proclivity, it does not matter their religious background or their belief, there are still three type of people that you're going to run into as an entrepreneur. These are your spectators, your participators and your collaborators. And I want to make sure that you position yourself the proper way. Because listen, the hour has come and now is for you to position yourself. I need for your business to get set up the proper way. A lot of us and a lot of people in Credit Warriors, I've spoken to about 300 people over the past 24 hours that want to know how to build business credit but have absolutely no idea because nobody taught you. The only reason why I know is because I had to work for the banks and the banks taught me. Um, like somebody asked me what I don't have a degree. I have a lot of um, certifications and I have uh, two decades of experience working with banks like out of school. I went straight into corporate America and I went through so many different training programs. And this is my God given talent. Economic empowerment is what I do. I am called to teach um, the ministry of marketplace. That is what I am. That's what I do. I'm called for it. I'm I'm being in my lane. Things are lining up. It is what it is. But I said all of that to say this is that um, you are going to learn this. And a lot of people are intimidated. It's like, Dean, I don't know how to do this. People perish for lack of knowledge. Every last one of us that did not know how to drive had to learn it and they did it. Anything that you don't know, you can learn how to do. So the excuse of I don't know or other, the other excuse of Jimmy rigging things, that is out of the door. We are under a Republican filibuster. We are in one of the best economic situations that has, the president has done such a phenomenal job of getting the economy prime and ready that they are about to open up lending. I've said this time and time again, I need for you to get ready to purchase some real estate. I need for you to get ready to get into, um, into commodities. What are commodities? Commodities are things like food, oil, um, clothing. These are commodities. And I don't mean investing in the stock market. I mean things like hauling freight. Okay. I mean like pulling food. I mean trucking, uh, the trucking industry, like the car industry is about to boom. There've been so many people that says, Dean, I want to put a car carrier on the road. I want to put a hot shot on the road. Position yourself right now. Like there's a video of me getting approved. I, I, I'm not a truck driver. I ain't drove a truck a day in my life. I don't have a CDL, but there's like on that, in that link that I, that I um, shared with you guys, I have a vlog of me getting approved for a tractor trailer. And I go to the tractor trailer lot and everything. And I have some partners now and we're coming together to create a great company. But I said all of that to say is because I'm positioning myself. All right. You, that's the thing about collaboration. My partners are phenomenal truckers. They're great at what they do. They have years of experience. I am the best paper pusher you're going to meet, baby. You understand what I'm talking about? I know the ins and outs and outs and ends, how to get things approved, how to get things through. And so we came together because of our, because one, we judged each other's fruit. When you're in the School of Business Credit, you get consulting time with me. We have a private group set aside just for clients. Um, we also have a course on purchasing real estate with the business credit. 
they get that for free, um, as well as they get a free website, a free five-page website. We handle the hosting for the entire year. All of that information is going to be available for you. And I, I'm saying all of that to say this. You can either make changes or you can make excuses, but you cannot make both. Everybody that's watching this, you have spent an hour of your time investing into yourself because you're ambitious and you are goal-oriented and you are deserving. If you want to know how to build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit, enroll into the School of Business Credit. If you really want to know what it's like to build a business from the ground up, follow my um, vlog. It's right up there. Um, follow the vlog. Ins and outs. I have two vlogs that I need to upload. Now, tonight, I have some courses that are being uploaded in the School of Business Credit. So, normally, I reach out to people and I talk to people, but tonight, I can't because I've been sick. I had to hire some people. So, tonight, today is one of my 24-hour days. I will be working 24 hours. If you watch the vlog, you're going to see what the rest of my day looks like. <laughs> ah, the day is one of my 24-hour days. And I just want to speak a blessing over everybody that's watching this. I want to encourage you to be the best you that you can be. Get past your self-limiting beliefs. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the negative thoughts that you have in your mind. Think positive. Have positive confessions. And you will achieve every last goal that you want. The only person that's stopping you is you. Either you're going to make changes or you're going to make excuses. But you can't make both. I want you to take this information. Share this. Watch this as many times as you need to. Reach out to me as much as you want to, but tonight I can't. I got to go and deal with my clients in the School of Business Credit. They get my undivided attention. I got stuff that I got to wait for my assistant to get back to me so we can get together. But I want to encourage you that you are right where you need to be. Stay on track. Don't be distracted by the noise. Remember, leave your spectators as your spectators. Focus your energy with your participators and judge, judge, judge your collaborators. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys go get them. Success is waiting for you. And I will see you guys next Thursday. No, I go live every Tuesday and Thursday. Today is Thursday. I missed the day because I wasn't feeling well. So I go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 o'clock on my page. Hit that follow button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I am so excited about this. I am so excited about the opportunity. I am excited for everybody that's watching this greatness is in the atmosphere, and I want you to reach up and catch it and pull it down. All right? You guys go get them. Success is waiting for you.